Hey guys, it's Jay. I just wanted to go over a couple of uh, my pieces that I found in my yard. Uh, many different types of stones. A couple of them more on the art side. Some of them more on the tool side. And um, combinations. They would put their art in their tools as well. That is a six inch ruler. We've got a couple granite pieces. This one looks like a very blunt axe head, or maybe pickaxe. This one is egg shaped, kind of flattened. And you can see where it's been used on this side and on this side. It's got all the bang marks from it being used as a tool that way. The rest of it's smooth. This is a nice uh, pinkish rose um, granite with salmon color granite. This one here is, um, <clears throat> I believe, a piece of quartzite. It's like a dark gray purple. And it's like egg shaped. And it's got designs and lines on the outside of it, as well as very detailed and deep engravings. Some of them look like paw prints, some of them look like other stamp marks. or even faces or beaks or claws, moons, pyramids. I think this side's got the pyramids on it. Yep. And all the triangles. There's a squiggly line that looks like a snake. So, You can see some triangles here. You can see a squiggle there. There's triangles, triangles, like a group of them, like a city of triangles. And then the side, they're more round. Interesting how there were two different, seemingly two different um, art forms on this piece. This piece feels completely smooth, but you can see the, the wear and tear on this side and that, where it would have been pounded and maybe used as a grinder because of the shape of this stone. It also has a lot of the same types of carvings and um, little symbols. Uh, they're on a smaller scale, most of them on this piece. Some of them are like squiggles, little squigglies. And they have, like the squigglies will end with like a circle or like a pyramid or something. I'm going to come over to this piece here. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what it is. 
It's like this green, like metally almost. It's real, like rough, like rougher than sandpaper. Like maybe they had this in a clay pack or something, or they just used it to like like a big piece of sand and paper maybe. But I, I did notice it was in the shape of a, a like a small hand axe with that stepped out edge on it right here that matched one of uh, my hand axes even with this little nub here with that nub there it just it matches up with the way they have the stepped um, sharp edge or the, the striking edge for the tool this is actually the only piece that is part of my Frogman collection that is in here. Uh, that was just for an example. So I could show you a relation to this piece. These, these two pieces here. Unless this was just a hand grinder, which I don't think it was because of the, the shape of it, but I think it was a, for a club, a war club, most likely. And this one, I think most definitely was in a war club, because it has the edge, the striking edge, and then the back's made to go into the stick. This piece I just thought was a very cool shape and pattern design all over the front of it and these little carvings in certain areas. <clears throat> Piece of what looks like quartzite <clears throat> sandstone. <clears throat> then we've got some of our black stone. This is the black stone that I find around here. You see this piece has a little a, a bird with the eye and the beak up top there with the feathers that come down and on this side his beak just comes down straight in the front and then his feathers are actually sharp on both sides I don't know if this was a spear tip at one point but then it looks like it was ground down right here to make another tool like a little beveled out notching tool that's the only worked um, spot that I could find on this that was um, showed signs of being worked as a tool and not just cut as a as a piece um, this one here I'm not sure if it was a preform or if it went into a club or if it had some sort of other symbology to it but um, that notch in the back you know they did a lot with those notches this is a big piece it would be considered a bigger piece. Um, these things form in nodules, like egg nodules. Sometimes they get stretched out. They get formed inside of massive chunks of granite, like bubbles. <clears throat> so they would have had to have found a big piece of granite, cracked it open, and then got this out of the middle of it. And usually they, you know, they form about this big, but usually smaller than this. <clears throat> this here is not um, black stone. I don't know what this is. It, it looks like a type of basalt, but I do not believe it's basalt. It feels really fibery to me. Um, really, really fibery. And these white marks, when I just looked at some other basalt pieces, it just, these white marks didn't really add up to the basalt. This was in my first video, this big pickaxe or grub hole. Pickaxe on this side, grub hole on this side. And here's a small pickaxe. This would be your smaller size pickaxe. You know, for digging tunnels and whatever. Got a couple other pieces here. It could be a pudding stone, or that could be clay. This piece here looks like they just shaped and then added some stuff and made little faces and birds and fish designs. And we've got.
cut this piece here, clay piece, this clay piece, which opens to reveal the inside of it, which may show people some, maybe how they got their different images, and different common shapes that then they would then work around to get shapes like faces of birds and stones like this so that might help people out that might be a good one to get like a nose and a side um, image of a person maybe looks this what it looks like from the side anyway so yeah if that if that broke open naturally over the winter and you can actually pick it up like this and it almost defies gravity I don't know if this is for really teaching or it was just a preform they never got to. I got a couple bigger strikers down here for the harder rocks. This balloon looking piece of cutlery. Very interesting. Sharp here and back here, but not up top. Not to cut any organs open, but just to get that skin off. And scrape. Okay, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed that.